In a tweet, Reno Mockray, the former presidential aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, shared a photo on Twitter which he captioned, When I leave office, you will all remember me. This was an attempt to compare the previous administration which he took part in and the present administration of President Muhammadu Buhari. The tweet, which was a quotation of the former Nigerian president, together with an edited photo of President Muhammadu Buhari and good luck Ebile Jonathan, drew the following savage responses. Everything in Nigeria is high like someone who ingests alcohol in his system. Food high, fuel high, Buhari high, governance high, insecurity high, corruption high, killing high, impunity also high at Buari call me hmm and uh, a lot of uh, responses uh, uh, have really surrounded that statement made by and the caption made by Reno Mockery and uh, someone says bros Mr Reno Mockery you said it aren't a polite to address someone you are talking to for the first time by their first name as much as it's Painfully true. Please, sir, don't rub it on our face. It makes the pain and anguish severe. But that is just what it is. That is just what it is. Sad and sad, Jonathan's poor leadership made the vast majority to choose the devil himself. If Jonathan and PDP had only done a little more than they were doing, some reasonable Nigerians are the feeling APC is a package lie i mean why someone believes that in as much as this administration has failed previous administration also failed a fail is a fail regardless be it 45 percent or three percent both are failures of course of course there's no one that can just brag or use the other one to justify what happened then or what is happening now imported rights is now 2700 is it 2700 or 75,000 or 27,000 naira? Why Niger own get grid stone age uh, 1.8 stone nest, but not too good? But uh, it's, it's just a 2.1. I don't know what this friend is trying to say. Obasan George Jonathan Buari, including you, Renu, God will judge all of you. If not, that we Nigerian youth are too busy to make the end meet for ourselves and the issue of religion and ethnicity that is affecting us all all of you guys should have know what it takes not to be selfish and a lot of uh, reactions to what Sereno has said but all the people are still complaining anybody that contributed to this uh, coming of this government either by campaigning or rigging voting or sharing of money must not complain they shouldn't even complain at all one administration adds so much money to spend another has less money to spend the difference should be clear don't blame nigerians pdp under jonathan was very bad and jonathan seems not to be decisive nigerians genuinely desired for a change it's just unfortunate that apc and buari failed the electorate we will continue to demand for change until we get it right of course that is just that's the spirit uh because i uh, one thing i always say is that i i wish that after this regime will not get another regime that will, will not be comparing what we are talking about now the pain we are, we are going through to now be oh it is it, it's better just like a, a somebody like Reno coming out to say oh yes because of course if you look at the two two regimes you would say oh the former regime did better compared to what is happening now but as at that time it was not even rosy it was not funny at all everything was really really difficult everything was just a free fall things were just you know things were just done in an upside manner everything was in disarray but what we have now is even it's even worse nobody to even talk to nobody to even complain to you cannot even protest you cannot even criticize the worst part of it if you talk now you know you know where you will land they will try to frame or try to ridicule uh, people see what is happening in southern Kaduna. see what is happening in the north a typical example is what is happening in in, in the southeast which was not happening so can we not say that uh, as we move on then we'll begin to get it so bad or we get we'll be getting it so 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 painful 
so so painful before we were complaining now they complain people cannot even complain now because it's so 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 disheartening people cannot even complain now and like i used to say what people could tolerate in the last administration no every people are just tolerating more than more than more than enough nobody can even say anything it's like everybody's mouth should be sealed you cannot talk you cannot uh, complain you can't do anything no no direction whatsoever no direction whether good luck jonathan whether this uh a Buari say administration, all of them are the same. Just like somebody say, whether you score 30, 43 percent or you say you score three percent, they are the same because the same suffering still continues. But they will be justifying, they will be justifying their, their themselves. They will be justifying their government. Talk about a, a security firm additional will be talking another thing. They will tell you, oh, they've been able to do this, they've been able to do this. But the people who are perpetrating this evil, they are still, they are still getting their getting away with all of those is. Just that they have changed tactics. The tactics they have changed, that is what the government is now priding itself on. It's unfortunate. Nobody, even the Jonathan administration, does not even have the right, the uh, uh, moral right to even condemn what is happening now. And now, the funniest part of the whole thing is that we don't even know where we are going. The 2023 is see another misery for everybody because nobody knows the direction it should be going. Nobody knows who is going to do the right thing because it's like a pattern. That will continue like that. The poor will continue to get poorer, while the rich will continue to get uh, richer. The politicians they now know the system because they know that Nigerians will still fall for the same thing. And this idea of trying to to intimidate people not to be able to talk is still another thing that is still worrisome because a lot of people are being silenced not to say anything. Well, we can't compare sleep to death. Everything about Buari. It's not good. Anyone that votes for Buhari should not complain. Uh, good Lord Jonathan will forever remember as the worst leader plus his so-called education. Uh, well, the same way they would want one uh, another person, the one drug addicted, corrupt laden, uh, who has had them in bondage to take over from Buhari again in 2023 everyone knows the present government is purely fraudulent and very confused the question is that if we ask people that should we even go back to the era that we were nobody will want to associate with that era and what we are looking at now is that for us to be able to move forward to be able to uh, uh, go out of all of this whether the present one or the past one be, but the problem now is that we don't even know where we are going to. We don't know who is coming because it is now a business as usual. Nobody is ready to do anything. It's like now they now see that uh, impunity and this corruption is now what they can really thrive on. Nobody is ready to fight the corruption because it would have been better if this corruption has been fought holistically. And now uh, it's now it's just a child's play. They are just playing to the gallery as far as a. Uh, you know, good governance is concerned. Everybody's getting away with everything. So who now has that mind? Nigerians cannot even believe anybody that will come and say, oh, uh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. We know the problems. So anybody coming to tell us that he's going to fix the problems, nobody's going to believe them because this administration has really taught a lot of people lessons. And those who are going to be shouting, yes, ah, this and that, give them that same opportunity, they will misuse it because they believe that uh, Nigeria is a place where they can, they can, they can do their business. Just go into politics. That is just it. Just belong to the to the right clique. That is it, and nothing will happen. They have now seen that Nigerians will not even be able to say anything, even in the midst of the suffering. They won't be able to say anything. They won't be able to to act. The worst part of it is that we will still be blaming ourselves. The masses will be blaming themselves as well. So, guys, let us hear your opinion. Leave your comments below and let us know your thoughts.